Hello and welcome to this early access first look map tour of Lady Hill by FS Landscaping. A little about the map. Lady Hill is a real location in County Atrium, Northern Ireland, just north of Loch Ney. This map is mostly just rural Irish farming with not much in the way of factories or productions, but it does have two large buildable areas to make your own. It has eight small farms and four small farm areas all which can be bought, sold, and bought again without the need to sell any of the placeables. The ownership of the placeables will change hands accordingly. It also has a cattle pasture mod built in that can be placed into any field or yard and removed again without, uh, without disturbing sorry, or reshaping the land. It holds 200 cattle and is free, which is good for cattle rotation roleplay. The map has 158 fields, three cattle pastures, four cow sheds, one sheep pasture, one horse pasture, eight small farms, four small farm areas, two large buildable areas, 29 different custom built house models, 30 different custom built shed models, custom grass and meadow textures, a dirt bike track for racing, a free quarry loaded with stones for winter work, temporary cattle pasture mod, field numbers matching farmland numbers, the ability to buy, sell and buy again for the same farm with working placeables. NPC characters have been replaced with thick fictional Northern Irish named characters. Also says a special thanks to Lancy Boy for teaching me useful tips, making buildings in Blender, and of course Mr. Farquhar for all his time spent going through the map, testing and giving help and advice. I hope you enjoy the map. Don't blame me if things don't work. That's all I'm going to say on that one. So with that, let's jump into the map and have a little look at it, shall we? This is Lady Hill. As you can see, lots of small to medium fields and meadows, a lot of grass. This is uh, big on grass. We have varying sizes though. We've got a couple of big crop fields going around. If we have a little look at what you start with as you come in, this is the main, the main start farm here on 168. And we have three grass meadows here. We have grass meadow here, here. We have crop here. And we have this split crop field here and crop field here. We do have uh, a rather large um, cow pasture here on the back of the cow barn. The sheep's pen, as you can see, is a good, a good sized area actually. It's bigger than it looks. And then we've got two healthy sized grass meadows here. So we'll we'll get to them in a bit. Now, like the map says, there are quite a few small farms scattered about. I have pumped in a bit of money, so we are just going to buy them up. And I'm going to try and remember where they all are. We'll buy up the different, different plots of land with different things in it. We don't want to buy up the periphery. That was a test. Don't want the periphery. We want this one. I'll probably click on the periphery quite a few times while I'm doing this, so bear with me. That one. I believe that's periphery. It is. We're going to buy up this one. That was periphery. That's what should leave the periphery on. Then I'll see it. We'll buy up that one. This one, this one, here, that's periphery, that one, I feel like I'm missing one, I click the periphery on again, no, I believe that is, that is all of our farms that I can see, so now that we've done that, we, oh, I know what else we need, we need this one here. I think there is another lot of land somewhere like that. Periphery. That goes with that. Yeah, we're going to leave it at that, I think. Right, yeah. So let's have a look at what there is on the map now. We have the debris crusher, lumber mill. That's a uh, wood cell. That is lumber mill wood chips. We have farm silo up here for this farm. Down here we have the BGA. We have the farmer's market. And we have the, it says Oop Bay Lawn, but this is the livestock market. Uh, the BGA only turns up if you purchase the land. 
we have farm silo one down here, small farm here. Then we have a small farm silo here. And then we have uh, Rail Lane silos. There's another farm silo here, and that one has a cattle shed and the cattle pasture. As you saw, the cattle pasture had to be brought separately. And there is a workshop on that farm. Down here we have the dairy. We have uh, the McKinney distributors. Up here we have Potter's Farm with Potter Cattle Shed. And just click on the main farm. You see we've got cattle pasture, sheep pasture, cattle pasture, cattle shed, and farm silo. I think that was it. Did we click on everything? Farm silo, I believe we have. Uh, vehicle shop is here in the middle of the map. So land prices. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is the large quarry that's free. So if you want to do your winter work, you can see that's free. It doesn't cost us anything. Um, the periphery, again, is free. That's If you want to do any forestry work, that's in the periphery. Buy up your periphery. costs you nothing. Go do your field work. We have uh, one of our larger fields up here at 53 at uh, 286. And next to that, we've got large meadow at 257. This plot of land up here is sort of large open land, but not really much of use. I think there's some trees and stuff on there. Um, that's 385. I'm going to buy that. Yeah, nothing comes up on it. It's just that it's just what it is. Another one here. Just spotted it. Small farm. No silo. Um, but then we can have a look at the small fields and it's down here at the 75, 76, 77. You can see they're like 21 to 25 grand. You've got a tiny spot here at 43. That's three grand. Uh, so we've got some varying prices, varying sizes for all, all your needs, uh, for whatever it is that you wish to do. So let's jump in and have a little look at the starting vehicles that we have coming in on New Farmer. Under small tractors, we have the Bauer 6105. On the medium tractors, we have the John Deere 7810. And if you install them, they're not included in the required mods, but if you have the John Deere 4040 installed, you will start with two John Deere 4040s, and they will be at um, what I call the second farm, which we'll go and see later on. But there you will, you will own them coming in. That's also where the mod harvester is. You come in owning a... Uh, New Holland CH770 and a John Deere 1175. This is a mod and this is also down at the second farm. So if you want this, make sure you have this the John Deere 1175 SLC mod installed. On the telehandlers, we have the JCB Agri Pro. On the cars, we have the Lizard Pickup 2017. Trailers is the Cramp Half Pipe HP20. Uh, we have the respectable headers for our harvesters, both grain headers. We've got the Very Feet 28 uh, feet and the SLC John Deere 319. For our animals, we have the Anderson Pro Chop 150. We've got the Kuhn RA 142 Mixer Wagon and the Lizard MKS 8 for water, slurry, milk, maneuvers and goods. We have an animal trailer, the Flegel Noah TTW140. Front loader tools is the pallet fork. Telehandler tools is the universal bucket and pallet fork. You do have two header trailers for your two headers, the N40BX and the N40B. And another mod, if you have it installed, the mounted bucket. And again, that will be at the second farm. You don't own that bit of land as you come in. So if you don't have those mods, they're not missing from the start farm. But if you do have them installed, this is the back mounted bucket mod. They will be at the second farm. And when I say the second farm, it's this farm over here. That's where they are. This is the main farm. This is what I call the second farm. It is the uh, rolling farm. Oh, I forgot to point out as well while we're up here, the quarry and up by the quarry that's now gone blue for some reason is the, I think this is probably to do with that, has gone, oh, it's because I've got this on. The bike track. So here you have the, the dirt track for dirt bikes and quads and stuff. This is real life farm, uh, real life map, by the way. So this is really here up in the woods, up by the quarry. Uh, you go around there and rinse your, your vehicles if that's your thing. So now we've looked at the map, we've looked at the vehicles. Let's get into the juice of it and let's actually have a little tour of the map, shall we? So we have our 
first farmhouse here. Very nice, looks good. We have a selection of, like we see, um, custom built sheds, custom built houses. We also have uh, modified giants models and some giants models in here as well. Some with different textures. Lots of storage. Lots of storage. I like these nice tall um, like hay, hay barns, like nice tall bale sheds. Plenty of storage down this side. We've got our grain silo in the middle. Clamp down here. You get around. And around the back. More storage. And then this shed you can get into. If I just hop a fence or two from here. We do start with some bales. FS Landscaping does like to give you some bales when you come in. So you can get going. We've got some silage bales in here. The harvester and uh, first John Deere here. Got the bower with the uh, animal equipment and then the telehandler here as well. And then we've got our hay bales in a shed around here. And that loops back around. Such and so. Here we have our first cattle shed. Slurry around the back. This is your milk fill point. Now this, I believe, is going to be where your manure trigger is. It's moved since my last look at the map. Manure should fill there. Some of the farms, manure points have been removed because they clashed with updates that we did to barns and to nav meshes and to collisions. So the manure points were removed so that people couldn't say that they weren't working. When you it was tested, if you place a a mod manure point on and there are plenty that fit into the areas and I'll point them out when we get to them if you place the mod manure point on the manure spawns quite happily when it was built in with the manure fill plane it just it just didn't fill it didn't work we couldn't figure it out so we took them out and people can place their own if they wish uh, this is the cattle feed and bedding goes here bedding needs to be um, for a blower you need to chop that up and put that in the feed will take bales, if I remember rightly. Feed will take bales, bedding won't take bales. And obviously to do loose feed and uh, TMR mix. The cattle shed will take 200. We shall stick 60 in. And they will roam, or they can roam if they wish, up to the back. Come forwards and in the shed. There's probably one or two in there now. Quite happily sitting in there. The areas are not grazing ready, but that is quite an easy thing to do. If you're on PC and you want grazing, join the Discord, send me a message, and I will send you the line of script you need to change and add in, and I will try and show you where to put it. It is very simple to do. It's not a problem. Um, then down here we have our sheep. Stick in some sheep. And again, that was oh, that was a hundred. We've stuck sixty in, and they will roam. And if you put grazing in, they will graze all the way down the back there. Feed and water here. Uh, they will take loose feed, and they will take bales as feed. Feed bales, and pallets will spawn here. Shut the gate. Then if we run around. As quick as you can, sir. As quick as you can. We have another cattle pasture. Holds 200. We'll stick 60 in it. And there they are. They're all happy in here. Again, no grazing. We can add grazing. So join the Discord, send me a message, get in touch with me on my Discord, and I'll sort that out for you. Uh, feed, water, and milk. Well, you can collect milk from them while they're out here. Which is quite nice. Shut that gate. And they can roam all the way around. All the way around. And all the way across. There's a lot of grass there, so you can come out and you can cut this for their feed anyway. 
and feed them. You have a gate that will take you into that pasture over here. It also has a gate on the uh, track on the front of the house. And we can stick our 60 in here. Holds 200. As you see, they're happy to spread about and go where they please. And again, feed them water, milk, and the pastures take loose. They take bales. They take TMR. They're more than happy. As you can see, this is not a flat map in the slightest. It's got valleys. It's got dips. It's got undulations. It has topography. Beautiful. Really, really nice to look out upon. Especially when you get up on high from the woods and stuff like that. But that is the main farm. We're going to open up this gate because we're going to come through here with a tractor. And we're going to head out. Now this is Ireland, but some of this gives me proper Mediterranean feels with the, the really white buildings and the white walls and stuff. Uh, but this is an area that FS Landscaper knows well, so I trust him when he builds it. That it is as close to real life as he can get it. Let's turn the engine on before we start trying to drive. That's a rare treat. The wheel is engaged as we go. Lovely job. Right, so let's head out this way. I shall bring my map up. Because when I'm messing about on it, when I'm testing stuff, I don't actually drive very far. I tend to jump to the farms or I fly and sprint through the fields. So using the roads is actually quite novel for me as well today. But we are going to come out of here. We are going to take our right and head down uh, southwest. We'll take in what I keep calling the second farm. And then we'll take in the uh, two cell points down there and then we'll head right to the bottom there, turn right and head up to Potts Farm. We'll be heading over there. That's where we go. So this is our route in. Again, very tight. A lot of the tightness of of this map, in parts, um, leaves me in mind of um, Van and Craig, which is a map both myself and FS Landscape and absolutely love. We shall turn that off. Float and deer can't be helped with the terrain and the building placement. On PC, I turn my wild animals off anyway, so I never normally see them. I just don't have all those mods in my map testing folder. We've got a little workshop in here. Doors work, and you can traverse the farm. I'll show you some more doors. Through the doors. They all lead to different places. We can get to the work shop trigger there, but I'm going to show you through a different door. Again, okay, we've got another little one here. Get you in. To the garage. Parts around here, so you get into there. And this door takes you into this workshop. It's a bit cluttered. There's a lot of stuff, but you can get through... It's the office there. And that is your workshop trigger for this farm. As you can see, we've got a lot of vehicles in the workshop trigger, which I think is nice because it's a big one. Shut the door behind me. And this whole area here, where these vehicles are parked in, is your workshop trigger. So you can park your vehicles in your workshop, put them up, and uh, yeah, do, do whatever business they need. And these are all the mod vehicles. So again, if you don't have those mods installed and you want them, I'll try and remember to list them maybe in the description. Um, but yeah, because this is what I consider the second farm, although it's my favourite, the second farm, you don't own this land anyway, so you'd have to buy this land or you'd have to come over, collect the vehicles and take them up to your main farm if you want to use them. We have a little bit of shed space here. We have another one here with working lights. The lights come on and off. This is your grain silo here. Um, dumps into the grate. You fill from up there. Now, when I was testing this, this put my reversing skills to the test. And I like to think I'm pretty decent at reversing, but this was a challenge. I did question FS Landscaping over it, and he said, no, this is how it is in real life. When he was a young wee lad, he spent many, many uh, summers messing about on this farm, 
BMX skateboard jumping off there and down the ramp and what have you. That is how it is. So that is how it is. That is how he remembers it. So that's why it's a little bit old, a little bit beaten up. Uh, there's a bit of a scrapyard, breakers yard down here as well. So a lot of vehicles around. Just, just littering up the place. But that's how it's supposed to be. Like with many of uh, FS Landscape maps, it is meant as in a realistic roleplay type of feature. You know, he builds his maps to how he wants to play them, and that is in the roleplay sense, realistic roleplay. Here we have a cow shed. And I believe this, the, right, the trigger is right in the gate. So this holds 80. It is smaller. But we'll put 60 in. You can see them in there. I will just shut the gate. Just because I like to. They're quite happy in there. We feed and we put our bedding in from up here. I mean, you can drive in and put your bedding if you wish. They are noisy. Um, straw blower in. Aim the pipe down to the ground and it will trigger and it'll be fine. Like so all your feed can either dump in there or you can TMR it in there. Feed wise it will take bales as well as loose and TMR. This is where one of those previously mentioned manure fill points was. Obviously it's not here now, there's no trigger. Uh, but you can fit a small modded manure point in here and it will work perfectly fine. They have been tested in afterwards. But he hasn't built none in because he didn't want no extra required mods because, you know, when a lot of people do map reviews and when a lot of people get hold of maps, they tend to moan a lot about required mods. And the thing that always makes me laugh is the same people that moan about required mods are the same people that want to be able to delete all the buildings in maps and then put mods in there. So, you know, go figure. But here we have milk and here we have slurry and then we have our silage clamp. A little extra storage and whatnot around here. Park some stuff up if you wish. And then around here we have the shed with the uh, header trailer for said head, uh, harvester around there. And then it's down this track that we have the, the pasture that we brought. If I just bring up the map. We are here at this farm and we brought this separate 166. And then that's when you'll see the triggers if you have your triggers on. I only have triggers on or map tools or when I'm confused. We can buy them. This holds 200. Bear in mind that your f actual barn holds in 80. If you do try and do this a little bit realistic and you want to bring your cows in and out, you either want to have a second pasture put down or just have 80 cows, I guess. But as you can see, they're all quite happy in here. Grass is a bit weedy and long, but we have um, feed and water. Again, takes loose, takes TMR, takes bales. Milk there, so you can have milk from your cows while they are out and about. Having a stretch. Uh, again, we have gates coming off into fields in all directions. As you would expect. We do have another farm, but I'm just going to run over here because I'm going to be annoying. I always forget about it. And you access it from up up there, but I'm just going to run over here and do it. It's around the back. Come on, get over there. So quite a large one here, the blue one. We have, It has a silo. Plenty of storage. I see this one as sort of the, the grain farm. This is the one that's getting in all, all the arables. Space. Space around the back. Got the custom house as well. Yeah, if you, you get to that one from up there. I always forget about it because the track isn't so easy to see. It's, it's just one that I forget. So we've jumped to it early. Yeah, nice little nice little farm out the way there. We'll just run back through the fields for this one. Again, because during testing I just always sort of flew everywhere. 
and, and tabbed everywhere. I didn't get overly familiar with where all the roads and the tracks were. There we are. All right, let's head back out. Try not to hit the house. Smooth driving. There we go. I want to try and stay out of here, but we do have some uh, tree canopies and stuff that do uh, enclose you while on the road. But if we just pan out a little bit, let's see. We can. I have my draw distance set pretty high, so you should be able to see for quite a while, quite a distance. But we can see the cows all the way over there, and you can see everything. I do like to have mine all set rather high. Max it out in the in the game settings, like in the in the XML for it, not actually in game game settings. We like to go larger than that because it only allows up to two hundred, and we like to go further, five sometimes six times, rather than just two times. So here, see we'll have a little signpost that is the McKinney Distributions. I'm just going to leave the tractor on the road to try and save a little bit of time. Deliveries go down this way. And here. So you unload point there for a sale point of all sorts. And you've just got a little bit of land around the back. It may need a little bit of uh, smoothing out. we got a little plot of land here as well. I think this might even be... If we buy that... Because I'd forgotten about it. This is your horses. So we can put some horses in here. Put a, put a little pin to in. Holds five. Put five horses in. There we go. Feeds goes in here. Water there. Bedding will go in as well. well. That's where they are. That's horses. And there's you know grass meadows all the way down here. So you could you could build in more horse passage. I think there are probably um, IRL more horses along in these little meadows. So you could build them in yourself if you wish. But that's where the first ones are. Track that leads all the way down to them. A few pedestrians on the road. So then we'll head a little bit further down, and it should be the dairy on our left first. Well, I think before we get to the dairy, we'll reach the uh, the rusty red farm. Now, all these little farms have names as well, but I forget them so quickly. Um, FS Landscape does have little mini videos of them after he'd built them in. They're on his channel. Go check that out. That's also where you'll find news and updates on uh, maps that he's doing and also in his Discord, which I'll try and remember to link in the description with mine as well. So in here we have the Rusty Red Farm. I will say, don't go into FS Landscape in his Discord and ask about graze. Come to mine and I will help you out with grazing. There's something I'm offering, not him. Um, or you can also, you know, YouTube a tutorial. But we've got a little rusty red farm. If you wanted to do like a start from scratch, this could be your old farm that you start with. Inherited Granddad's farm. And then um, <laughs> that's, that's always always the story. And then uh, expand from there and do whatever it is you wish to do. And again, they're a bit rickety and they look strange, but that's how they're supposed to look. In the Discord, if you follow FS Landscape and, and his Discord, you'll see he always, whenever he builds something, he always compares it to a real life image so that you can see what it's supposed to look like and what he's made it look like. So we have the dairy down this way. Now, last time I was on here, we didn't even have uh, road signs. But it is base game dairy, purchase point. We don't own it. 
so it is just a sell point at the minute you have to purchase it to uh, produce anything obviously that's how they work So next up we'll come out, we'll take a left, we'll take a right, and then we'll take a long, long drive up to Potter's Farm. But it's quite a picturesque drive, so it's not a problem. Again, another little house here, a little greenhouse there on the side. Awesome. Map end down there, but there is, as you can see, some, a gate there and, and what have you to get in there. We've got a gate to get into this field, I'm about to hit that post. I'm still new to this, can't walk and talk. <laughs> so again, we'll, we'll pan out a little bit for this drive until we hit the tree canopy and we can look across. So you see the farm's all the way over there. Start farm, that is, all the way over there. Other farms. Actually, that's, um, that's the farm we're going to, I lied. That's Potter's farm, that's the start farm up on that hill. Fences and gates everywhere. Land ownership and privacy is a thing. Get off my land. I prefer that, although we don't around our way, we don't have a lot of uh, fenced off fields. Not so much anyway. We have a we have a lot of burns and um, tree lines and hedgerows for our field edges. Not so many not so many um fences. So little house there again that little mediterranean feel but it's not it's northern ireland just just feels warm <laughs> instead of wet i think it rains here a lot so we'll park up in here that'll do us farmhouse custom built and is Exactly like the one that is here with the old and the new. So you got the new extension on the old house. And as we come round here we have a cow shed. A little storage area here. You can get in here with a skid steer or a small telly handle or a front loader. And store your goods in here. Your seed bags, your seed pallets, put them under cover. A little bit like in um Cobra Park Farm. Uh, a favourite of my Cobra Park Farm, but it had that little bit between uh, the grain silo where you passed through and you had your seed refill point and a fertilizer refill point and, and stuff all sort of in a little square. Reminds me of that. Down here we have some more shed space. Bale sheds mainly would be their purpose. Here is where we had one of the manure pits that decided to stop working after we fixed the nav mesh and some collisions on this shed. But if you place a manure fill point down here it will work fine. Once again, it has been tested. It does work that way. We will grab us some cows. So we'll get ourselves some Holstein, and it's going to say not enough. We'll just stick 20 in there just so you get a look of it, but it holds 200. There we go. They are in there. Uh, feed and uh, bedding goes down the front. You want to uh, blow your bedding in, you want to chop it up. F feed will go in with bales, it'll go in loose, TMR, all at the front there. Pretty much all the way along that front line you can feed and put bedding in. We have slurry from here. I'll just have to let him know that we've got a little bit of a float on that one. That'll get fixed. And uh, round the back here is where you're going to pick your milk up. We do have a clamp here. That grate is new. That grate weren't there last time I looked at the map. So with this shed, this is a required mod. You will be uh, pointed towards that when you install the map. I forget who it's by. I've never used these before. They confused me when I first started having a look at this. Uh, not this one in particular, because it has the door, and that's quite obvious. Come in, do the door, do the shed. Very nice. This one confused me, because I was trying to get in it, and... oh. We were worried about land ownership because that was when he was sorting out if you buy it and sell it, who owns what. And I couldn't open it. And he told me to go in through the side door. And I thought, oh, he's bent around the other side. But there's a wall up. Have you, have you blocked it off? Have you walled it in like where that wall goes? No. It has a button here. But I've never seen these sheds before. Never used them. So I didn't know. So that button opens this door. Come inside. 
this button opens this door. And I think... Does that turn the lights on? I can't remember. I'm sure there are lights somewhere. There we go. There's the lights. I was pressing the wrong trigger. Ah. If you're on a keyboard, anyway. Ah, to, to turn them on. There we go. Well, that's your lights. And that's the shed. Uh, when you buy this plot of land, as you can see, we're bang in the middle, but we don't get fields uh, 48, 47, 25, or 27 with it. You have to buy them separately. And over there, there is a lake, pond, and a little stream for water, if you wish. But that is, that's pretty much this farm. Again, you can sell this plot of land and ownership, and all the placeables will stay, uh, or ownership will transfer to the new owner, and the placeables will stay. You don't have to sell everything uh, when you sell the plot of land. Which is quite nice. Because sometimes, or most of the time, if you, uh, you're you on a farm and you ha it comes with placeables on it and you want to sell it, normally you have to sell them off and then you have this big empty plot. Whereas they stay. So let's see if we can get around here. Are we going to have to back up? Oh, no. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Did all right for a change. So we're going to head back up to the crossroad. Uh, this is probably going to be quite a long map tour, so I will cut until we're, we're up at the crossroad just opposite our start farm entrance. So we do have traffic along the main road. head this way we're going to go down and we'll hit those four points of interest we'll see what we can see as we go around a wind turbine off there lovely little house this one and that there that is the track that leads down to that farm yeah surprisingly enough I always miss it yeah I always you know I really like that little house Entrances everywhere to fields, lots of fences, lots of walls, lots of gateways. Some nice little housing here. And they do have garages. If you want to role play, you can get into all these. They have car parks or you know garages to park a car in around the back. This is awesome awesome for role play. Awesome for role play. BGA, Animal Dealer and Farm Shop this way. So here we have the farm shop. Is that, is this the, no, this is a farm. This is little farm. Silo. Farm silo. Get your head on straight, mate. Farm silo. Grains. We have a little shed here. We have shed here. Lights that work. We have an under canopy. Shed on the back. I don't think that one opens. I think it's just part of the uh, shed model. Again, combination of uh, buildings to create a much larger bale or vehicle storage here. Rough bit of land with gate opening up down there. Let's go around. Another shed here. And there is space if you want to, you know, you could put a little pasture down on there. I know someone that's made a temporary grazing pasture that would fit nicely on there. Get a few sheep or some cows on there. Or even that would probably fit in there as well. And, um, yeah, get a little start farm up. Very nice. And around here, obviously, you've got access to um, fields 8286, 112, 114. All quite small. Make a nice little start farm. Soon, soon be rolling in the wealth of these. These poles were a recent uh, addition as well. I think they went in just before I got this copy of the map. Easy coming down. We've got a little track there that leads all the way up to the back of the BGA and into those meadows and fields. We're going to take the road.
Then I think the first up on our right is the animal dealer. This animal dealer, all nicely signposted for you. Just come in. Pretty much uh, base game dealer. Uh, off the US map, this is um, Larson's Loyal Livestock. It's got a bale shed over there. Purchase here. So you can send them to wherever we want them from wherever we've got them. And it does have some static cows. Just to give it that a little bit of a look. Nice little types of statics. He's down here grazing. Look at them. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So let's go and check out the farmer's market and the VGA. Which are just up the way. Plenty of room to turn around. I was going to say with a large animal trailer, but on these roads you wouldn't really want a too large of an animal trailer. I might ping him a message and say he's a miss of not putting a, a bail sell point on there. So I'll see if I can get him to add one of them in last minute. Uh, new buyers, please register at the office. That is the sign, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. So BJ to our left. Yeah, I always think an animal dealer without a, a bail. Um, and maybe even a TMR or a forage purchase point is a little bit of a miss. I forgot to say in our communications. So we'll open up this. Up to the BGA. Quite a big one. So we've got unload, load here. You can tip in. Um, you can tip there as well, but you can go up there. Obviously, purchase here. Another one load there. And he has. These were a little bit further forward. I asked him <laughs> just for me and my <laughs> driving skills. I asked him if he could move his vehicles back a little bit. So I had more space, and he has. So that's good. Vehicles have moved back. It's made it a little bit easier. And well lit. We've got lights, as you can see, all the way around. And if you run the BGA, you've got the gate. Like I said, it goes round into the field and all the way down that way. Bit of a shortcut, uh, but you could put corn in there and chop that and whoop, silage up and do. There's a bit of space here. You could put yourself a clamp down if you wish. Fit a clamp in along that side. We just need to come down and then we need to head left. I should have made sure I had a faster vehicle for the tour. I do apologise for that, but we get to take it in at least. We get to take it in. I will jump back to the centre when we head back. But here we have our farm shop. Come around. Trigger on this side. It's a farm shop, you know how it works. So I shall head back to sort of the central crossroad and then we will uh, head north because there's nothing further going out sort of northwest. So we'll take the northeast junction and we'll go that way. There's some nice houses, some nice buildings, but I'll let you explore that area of the map yourself. There is a little farm up there by 56 and a little bit of um, sheds and stuff up by um, 78 and 77 but we're gonna we're gonna head the other direction so back at the central crossing and we are gonna head right and take that road north to the quarry to the vehicle shop and to the racetrack lady hill road up towards the forest again we've got a nice lovely house here 
Again, plenty of fences to take us into fields. Again, we've got more bushes than fences, so we've got gates, bushes. Do we have collision? I'm not sure. I don't generally drive through bushes, so we can drive vehicles through them. If that's your thing. I don't tend to do that. That's not how I like to do it. I like to get out and give my vehicle a kick sometimes, but... So this is our vehicle shop, our vehicle dealer. Repairs on this side. Park out there. Trigger there. Make sure you get it in the trigger. Obviously I'm not parked in the trigger. And then for our shop. Now the, the purchase spawn area is all of this. To test it. I brought, I think it was 13 uh, Black Beauties, <laughs> and they all fit on there. So we shall... Uh, we, shall we'll, we'll, we'll always buy a small tractor. When we do a map tour, we always buy a Z tour, so we will buy one. This is my most purchased tractor, least used. And there it is. But they will go, they will fill up, up to the fence line, and then they will start to fill... On this side, and like I say, I think it was 13 Fent Black Beauties. Plenty of space to get all your large machinery on here as well. Just turn ourselves around. And because they spawn in quite far forward, if you do get a harvester, you've got room to back up and get your header on as well. Which is always nice. Let's go around to our left and we'll head up this way. If I can remember where all the little plots are, we'll, like I say, we'll try and take in all the little farms, but I, I will miss them because some of the plots are quite small on the map. Once you've brought them, you'll know. So we've got a little house there. I pan out, I won't be able to see them if I pan out. I think there's just a house down there. I don't think there was a farm. There is. Or well, there's something. I forget. Because I spent a lot of time testing animal areas and feedings and stuff like that, the the farms that didn't have things that didn't necessarily need testing, I didn't spend a lot of time at, just blew into them and made sure that way. We'll head down here to see what there is, shall we? Let's pretend like I haven't seen every inch of the map. That will take you off down to the other fields. I believe they're all interconnected, so you can get down uh, to the BTA that way as well. So yeah, it's a little bit of a derelict farm again. Again, start from scratch. You could buy a house coming up here. Just have a little shed, work as a little contractor. It'd be your homestead style or something like that. It's out here. You never know. One of these houses could be FS Landscaping's house. So we'll not say nothing bad about any of them. <laughs> that could be FS Landscaping shit. So we'll get back down. The man loves a little track, though. He absolutely loves a track. He usually puts quite a bit of time into making sure. There we go. Here's the bumps. Making sure they're not flat. He, he hates driving down a track and it not have a little bit of bump to it. So maybe that is his house. That's, perhaps that's why he likes a track. Because he has a long track to his house. Might be learning about the man. And again, we have a bit of woodland on our right. If you buy the periphery, you can cut that down and do what you like with it. So we are going to keep going. 
and we shall take a right when we can so there's a track down there into those fields and meadows and there's a I pan out can we see I'm not sure if the trees are going to get in the way but over there where the trees are it's more like I don't want to say wasteland, but like recreation land. You can see there's there's trees and stuff on there, but it's not like dense forest. It's more like a wreck area. Another one of those lovely would-be Mediterranean houses. Hannon Farm and O'Neill Farm. So down this way we have two farms. O'Neill I may have remembered. Hannon I wouldn't have remembered. So it's good that they're signposted. Like I say, I do forget the names pretty quick. Pot of Farm always stuck with me because we had issues with Pot of Farm, so I typed it a lot, it was in my head. The others where there were no issues, they did not stick in my head. I believe there are videos on Hannon and O'Neill Farm on his on his YouTube page on his YouTube channel on his YouTube page I really do show my age sometimes when I talk about stuff <laughs> dear oh dear alright old man calm down get off the internet what a good boy I'm using my indicators as well <laughs> is anyone down here run around right jump out I couldn't tell you which one was Hannon and which one was O'Neill. I think this one's... I'll probably get them wrong. I think this is O'Neill Farm. Tall green. But that one's got tall green over there as well. Anyway, we have nice big sheds here. Tucked away out the way. But these are nice big green red sheds. I like them. Again, doors that we can get in, fit in. Open everything up. I don't want to come back in through the door. Let's shut that up. Shut it up, lad. Let's be trigger. There we go. Got myself stuck. That's entirely me. Not getting out of the way. <laughs> getting out of the way when I shut it. I shut the door as well. Leave it as we find it and all that. So that's all from round. Is it a door? Was that all from. There it is, it's here. I remember rightly, this opens towards us. Where is it? There it is. There you go. Swings open towards us. Little shed here. Shut that. And your silo. Nice little tidy farm. Uh, out the back. You can go around, you can go around the back. Access to fields through gates and tracks. And again, gate into the corn here. Nice little lawn as well. Look at that. They've spent some time in their lawn. See, so yeah, I think that's... Neil. And then... I'll prob I am probably completely wrong. I probably switched around what they are as well. Got a little plot there. You can pop something on if you wish. Build a shed, put a distribution center on it. However you like to do things. We go in. Farmhouse. Green garage again. Shut that. And then around on the side. A little little dump here. You can put whatever you like in there. We've got lights working in this little shed. Lights in this one. Get you in here. We've purchased this, haven't we? This area here. Yeah. So I think this is a... Or maybe was a disused cow farm, maybe? Yeah. I think that's what this is. Because it looks like it could be, but it's not. There's no triggers or anything, and we've purchased everything. 
So this is the disused. It does have a clamp. But you can put down a placeable pasture in there and um, get that working again. And then you got a little bit of space here. Build some extra sheds or, or something, if you so wish. That is like an old farm, isn't it? Like it's, it's got this pasture land that's not really used. It's a little bit wild grass and overrun. If you're on PC, you could use um, expandable pastures. You could place a pasture down in that and then build it all the way around. That would be pretty cool. Maybe another good early start farm. I've been streaming a lot the last few days. I keep looking up and looking at my camera while I'm talking. Because uh, I, it is on. I am recording an image as well. But we don't we don't need me, so it probably won't be in. But I'll tell you what, now that I've said it, I'll give you a wave. There we go. We'll, we'll put a little bit of me waving like a silly tar in this video. <laughs> so we'll head up. We have... Uh, in the middle there, just south of the quarry, we've got the uh, sawmill, so we'll go check them out. Again, to try and save a little bit of time, I shall head back to the junction and bring you back as we turn right. So we shall turn right here. Just be mindful of traffic on this road, I think. I'm not sure. I don't think they do actually climb. I think they just go through that, that main road along the middle. But here we have our wood chip and our debris crusher. Yeah, sawmill debris crusher. Debris crusher there, we know how that works. These are just placeables, doors don't open. Or just placeables, just decoration, sorry. Doors don't open. Gate. And here we have our wood chip. And then our lumber. The large area is where you can drop your wood off in. And obviously that's where your pallets will spawn, I believe. If you do forestry. I mean, I don't think it's like a, a big part of what goes on here. But we are right next to a pine forest. And the pine forest is free. So you can, you can get all the pine. They're spruce trees, but over here we call them pine trees. They're not quite pines, but the pines that are in this game don't look like the pine trees we have over here. Uh, the spruce trees look more like the pine trees. But that's, that is there. We will go to the quarry at the end. The quarry is over there. It is filled with stones. If you like to do that sort of thing, it is there for you. You can weave your way down and, and do that. It was quite a challenge to get them in. I think with the way that the Giants editor has updated, it didn't allow the stones to go in like it did when he made Chipping Norton, which uh, has a quarry in it. It has a quarry in it because he knows about quarrying and people like to do some stone stuff. So it's like winter work if you want to go and, and do that. So that's there. But yes, that took a little bit of work to get the quarry in and to get it to fill with stones properly. So credit to the man for doing that. I said, just leave it. He was like, no, I'll get it in there. And he did. So don't listen to me for everything. Well, here we have another farm. I, I missed whether it had a name. I'm sure it does. Around the back here, we've got shed space as well. Access into the fields from this gate. I say the land isn't always the easiest because it is hilly. Now, everything's built on a hill, so everything's got a slope. Old sheds, little shed. A bit more machinery space here. And then your farmhouse down here. Sneak off into uh, meadow, I believe it is here. More meadow grass. Meadows over yonder. And uh, a few trees and whatnot over there. Over here, if I can run quick enough... Rather than driving all the way down that road, we'll just run across the land. This field's going to be bigger than I thought it was. I told you, even though they look like the smaller fields, quite big. Catch you out. Or catch me out, anyway. So this is part of that open wreck land. Which reminds me a little bit of, like, Moore's land. 
we've purchased that so we could do stuff with that if we wish we you could buy that big plot and again i'll bring up on the map this one here you can buy this plot and it was um 358 grand which is cheaper than a farm you can buy that plot and you can make this into a big farm and do what you like with it really because it's just open land there's a few trees in it mainly bushes it has gate access you've got a track down the side you could you could honestly you could build on there and turn this into like four fields maybe just three small ones or whatever or you could put down some cattle pastures and stuff and you could build your own farm up in this top corner and not worry about any of the eight farms that are already there the options are there endless options rather than running through the fields again we've, we've jumped back to the john deere just want to do a quick bit up past the quarry to where the little dirt track is because some people will want to know like the dirt track and the quarry that's not for me i'm not too worried about the logging so like this this little sort of northern eighth of the map isn't somewhere i'd really come not somewhere i'd, I'd play around with but i know that there are people out there who like to do the quarry type work and there are a ton of players. I was going to say younger, but not always younger. But a, a large part of the community that likes to play around with the dirt bikes, likes to play around with the quad bikes and do stuff. So the fact that there is a built-in track for you, should you wish to do that, it is this way. You can access it through the top of the map. Here. This will take you through the woods... You can keep going right through, uh, if you see at the top there, and that'll take you out onto the back of that, what I'm calling like Moors Land. It's, uh, that gate there. Again, you've got a little shed here if you want to store some bales or some, you could store some equipment up there. You could store your quad bike up here, or your dirt bike. Am I taking the right route? I think so, Some somewhere up here. Oh, I've, I've missed it sort of. It's there. There it is. There's a second gate. I knew there was a gate to it. I knew there was a track. And we'll just quickly run you down to the track. Quarry. Let's see if I can pan out for the quarry. He wants to clip with the uh, the map boundary, so we can't do that. I do apologise. As we come around, you have to see the quarry. Quarry is quite big. That is full of stones. If, like I say, if that's your thing, get down there, dig them stones out. Winter work. So you can park up all your all your dirt bikes, all your quad bikes there entrance down onto the dirt track and you can just race around here again i believe fs landscaping has a, a video on his on his um, channel going through here you can add the if you're on pc again you could add your mud mod on here and stick some mud in here Raz around obviously not at 20 miles an hour in a tractor but probably a lot quicker and a lot more fun on a dirt bike again i think this is here IRL. I believe so. I don't think he would add it for no reason. I think it's here. And it is a little bit in the shape of Imola. I did ask him if that was deliberate. He says no. <laughs> but it is shaped a little bit like Imola. You could have an Emilia Romagna Grand Prix around here. <laughs> in the dirt. And that's the track and this is the first and probably last time <laughs> that i will ever drive around it certainly in a john deere but that that is our map that is lady hill there's a lot to offer here it is like i say it's a map that was designed for fs landscape and to have a realistic role play of an area that he is familiar with that he knows that he grew up in that he's lived in so yeah, that's that. Hopefully you've enjoyed the map tour. If you have, 
give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. If you do get this and you download this and you're on PC and you would like to add grazing mod, you don't know how to do it, come and join the Discord. Put a message to me in ping me in the farming simulator channel and uh, I will post whatever it is you need or DM me and I will give you whatever you need. I will try and help you with that. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.